Hi, Bob here with JD Squared. Hope you're having a great day. In this video, we're going to talk about the tube stabilizer mechanism on the rotary cutter lineup that we have. That's this system right here. It is designed to be installed and removed off the machine very quickly. Quick disconnect hoses and electrical lines, and it's also down. There's only two bolts that hold it on. So that every time you do reinstall it on the machine, if you're doing an operation that it's designed for, um, you don't have to worry about any alignment. It just goes on. The system uses transfer balls. They're very popular on these kind of machines, and it, but it's unique in that we have de developed a mechanism that will handle from half inch to three inch with no adjustments. You literally just throw a valve and you go from three inch to half inch tubing. It works very well. Now, the limitation of three inches is in place because we've discovered that anything larger than that, the transfer balls just can't handle the weight. They just wear out, they mar the tubing. It's just a no-go. So on this particular machine, anything above three inches, for instance, this machine will handle six inch pipe. Um, we have other solutions for that that work much better than a transfer ball system. Anyway, there's two segments to this video. One is a rear view that will describe the mechanism to you, and the other is a front view so that you can get a view from that side also. So why don't we go check those out here. Okay, we now have the tube stabilizer has just come into view. And I am going to pause the CNC program right there for a minute so that I could point out some of the features for you. This, is, this entire system from here up to through here is what we refer to as the tube stabilizer. It has three mounting locations, forward, middle, and aft. Uh, the reason we do that is if the machine is equipped with a tilt head, uh, all of our machines are tilt heads, some of them are automatic, then what's going to happen, tilting this away where the torch is like this, you've got no problems at all. However, if, if it's in the forward position and you try to tilt this away, then the torch will hit this front face right here. So in order to help with that feature, we've allowed you to move it back. Also, if you're doing a very long notch, you're going to want the tube stabilizer further from the torch so that you know if you're doing like a 60 or 70 degree notch, you've got to have a pretty, a pretty good distance between the torch and the stabilizer balls or the balls will fall into the, into the cutout, therefore ruining your piece. We don't want that. Now, the way the system works, is we have the mechanism itself, the stabilizer mechanism, and it's designed to clamp and unclamp from half inch to three inch tubing without any other adjustments whatsoever. You can just, um, basically you could put three inch, clamp it, you know, clamp it down, or you could take it, take it out, put half inch in, clamp it down and go. Uh, this is obviously, you just saw me doing it, it's the switch that will allow you to manually open and close it. In full automatic mode, the switch must be in the down position. Now, what we've done here, let's talk about transfer balls for a minute. They work pretty darn good um, unless you're trying to drag them up and down the tubing um, the whole time because this machine here rapids at 1,100 inches a minute, and we're not going to be able to get any kind of life out of these at all at that kind of speed. It also mars the tubing. And what I'm talking about, it, there's no actual mark in the tubing. It's just marking the outside of it. If you painted this, you wouldn't see it. But the bottom line is, it is scratching your tubing. It is putting some lines in it. Now, when you're going up and down, rapiding, you're putting those three lines all up and down your tubing also. And, of course, like I mentioned, you're wearing out the balls extremely quickly. Um, so what we did is we developed a system to where... When the machine is not cutting, scribing, or marking, the balls will retract off the tubing and the tubing will settle down. You see, I can move it now. The tubing will settle down into this roller right here. Now we can run full speed. The roller is spinning with the tubing and we're not marking the tubing and therefore extending the life of these things greatly. We're talking a factor of 50 to 100 times greater life. Now, another thing about these balls, when we engage it, if we were all the way out, the full three inches, this is inch and a half tubing right here, if we were all the way out, when we engaged it, they would clamp down um, pretty hard, but they would have a longer stroke, so they would have a little bit more time to build up speed trying to mar your tubing also. So what we did, we added an adjuster right here that you could adjust to limit how far the transfer balls retract off the tubing itself. Another thing we did realizing that you um, could be using aluminum or, or soft copper or something like that. We've got a regulator right here where you could adjust how much pressure is being applied to the tubing to stabilize. I mean, she's, you know, she's rock solid right there. 
and we've got it turned um she's running right there i think it's about 80 psi um clearly with aluminum that might be down to around 20 psi now the roller is very easy to do adjust is you basically you know put your tube in clamp it down and then you break loose the socket head cap screw right there you adjust this up or down and you're looking for a little daylight you want that to free spin right there lock it back down and away you go um, anyway this entire mechanism can also be removed off the machine they're all dowbed so that no matter what position you put it in it's always going to be in the same center line of your tubing as it was before but it can be removed off the machine let's say we're doing two by four or four by four square tubing or something like that clearly this won't work another thing about transfer ball systems they work pretty darn well for up to three inch tubing anything beyond that um we just zero luck i mean just, it's just a train wreck so um that's where we limit it on this machine we don't want to sell you a machine that essentially is not going to last very long because of that limitation let me go ahead and hit resume here and you'll be able to watch it continue on now notice i do have the switch in the down position so she will run automatic fully automatic here now we tilted the other way, and like I mentioned, if we were going to tilt back towards us, we would clearly have to move the stabilizer to maybe the, uh, the mid or the aft position. All righty, let's continue on. Okay, the balls have been retracted. We're looking at the front view of the tube stabilizer. It's in the forward position. And you can tell that the balls are opening and closing. They will only do that when there is an operation being performed on the material, whether you're marking, scribing, or cutting. Now, it's going to do a little tilt head. We're only able to go 30 degrees, and we're only able to tilt towards us because the stabilizer is in the forward position. If we wanted to tilt the other way or a longer notch, we would move the tube stabilizer to a, a more rearward position. Notice that as the, as the whole mechanism is going up and down the tubing, like right there, it is not dragging the balls. They are disengaged. You can tell um, from the rear view part of this video of how that works. All right, let's, let's move on. Okay, here we are again. Um, a lot of features in such a small package. I hope I've answered all of your questions. If you have any more, please don't hesitate to contact our sales through email or phone. And um, as, as usual, I hope you have a great day, and thank you for watching. Bye.